Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. I went with mode instead of moed. What yeah, do you think? I, I Is that think, the right I think choice? Right. Yeah. <laughs> what um, I really want to know is what do cats do when they're retired? But I, I think they sleep a lot and more than usual. Yeah, I don't know. Don't they sleep like 15 hours a I day? I think so. Do mine they really? Did. Yeah, mine did. Oh wow. I just, don't, I just don't know what they would do differently if the they life. were retired. He's talking about the retired <laughs> life over exactly. there. They don't play golf. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I don't think they do. Hey, we've got a little bit of snow lingering here. Most of the snow is history. Not quite all of it. Talk about who has got a little bit left here and what's going to happen the next couple of days. But I want to take you right up to the Canadian border of northern Vermont, northern New York, too. Right along Route 11 here. We've got just some very light snow showers coming down. This stuff is going to move out of here, but may take just a little while. We've got the same kind of thing in northern Vermont over toward Richford right now, and you can see how this area of low pressure is going to drag this stuff out of here. But we still have a little bit right along the border to deal with. Also, we've got some lake effect snow coming off of Lake Ontario, and I think we'll find some flurries, if not even a little bit more than that in parts of the Adirondacks, in particular southern St. Lawrence County. How about those snow totals? You know, half a foot turned out to be a real thing here. We were talking about three to six inches in the mountains, lowlands, one to three, actually verified pretty nicely. The thing is, it lasted pretty long, really. It looked like this stuff wanted to leave during the morning as we looked at the forecast models yesterday. And yeah, this stuff lingered big time. Anyway, Woodbury, six and a half inches. Six was a popular number here. Callus all the way down to Morrisville there. Here's what we're doing for temperatures. Now, I think temperatures are going to be pretty steady and actually rising a little bit tonight. They're all over the place and well to the north, it's a little bit colder like Montreal and also Plattsburgh, low 20s, 24 Saranac Lake, 26 in Burlington, but mid 30s parts of the Connecticut Valley point south from there. Look off to the west. It's generally a little bit warmer than it is here. This is some of the air that's going to be coming our way was warmer today as compared to yesterday. Tomorrow will be warmer warmer still as we're knocking on the door of 40 degrees. Next 12 hours in the Champlain Valley, not looking for really anything in the way of snow, I, you know, maybe a flurry, but temperatures pretty steady coming up a couple of degrees and then 30 is going to be a biggie throughout the overnight into the beginning of tomorrow where we've got some clouds and then those clouds, I think, giving way to a mix of sun and clouds. So the cloudiest part of tomorrow should be in the morning. We're thinking a high of 40 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds by the afternoon. All right, future cast. Let me take you through the overnight. Here comes your Friday. We've got clouds. Yeah, and then we've got a mix of sun and clouds. Generally speaking, farther south you are, I think the brighter the day is going to be. Tomorrow night, no worries at all. Here comes your Saturday. Saturday, what an interesting scenario here. We've got forecast models that are just bouncing around. We're going to keep the chance for a couple of rain showers in the forecast for southern Vermont. We'll see how this goes. Farther north you are, again, this is Saturday. I think the brighter it's going to be. All right, a few snow showers out there tonight. Temperatures pretty steady. We'll call the low 25, but we may not even see that in some spots, although Plattsburgh is a little bit colder than that now. Morning clouds giving way to afternoon sunshine in northern New York, thinking 41 in Plattsburgh, 42 in E-Town, even Lake Placid looking pretty mild at 37 degrees. Meanwhile, morning clouds, afternoon sunshine, Morrisville, 37 degrees. We'll call it 40 in Burlington, and we're just going to call it a mix of sun and clouds down to the south because I think it's going to be a little bit brighter for you guys first thing in the morning. Killington at 34, but 10 better than that. Bellows Falls at 44. All right, 40 degrees going to do it for you tomorrow. 40 degrees, some showers possible south on Saturday. Sunday's going to be a breezy day. Still, I think more clouds than sunshine. Then increasing clouds Monday. Tuesday could be an interesting day, everybody, because I think we're going to find some snow around here. Looks like it's going to be plowable snow. We are ready to go to cover that for you. Snow showers on Wednesday, even into Thursday, that's possible. Friday looks okay, but by next weekend, at least the end of it, some rain showers, you guys.